Singapore, one of Asia's most prosperous financial centers and ports. With over 200,000 travelers a day arriving by air, sea, and road, border security is a major issue. The airport is a hub for Southeast Asia, and the causeway that links Singapore with Malaysia is one of the busiest thoroughfares in the region. For Singapore's Immigration and Checkpoints Authority, the ICA, facilitating the entry and exit of travellers without compromising on border security is a major challenge. The ICA engaged NEC to enhance the database to implement its decision for an advanced biometrics clearance system. Singapore already held a database of its citizens' fingerprints, and NEC was already a world leader in fingerprint identification technology. Together, they developed the Enhanced Immigration Automated Clearance System, which was both easy to use and fully automated. It's actually a system whereby the traveller can come in, uh, present a passport, present their fingerprint, and clear immigration without having to see the officer face to face. The one kilometre causeway between Singapore and Malaysia has just become the first border crossing to use the NEC technology. The traveller first scans his passport with a reader. The system will retrieve his fingerprint record from the national database. The traveller then moves to the fingerprint scanner. The automated gate will open once the system verifies the passport holder's fingerprint against the database. The traveller need not queue up for clearance with an immigration officer. It's very accurate. Our false acceptance rate is actually 0.001%. That gives us an advantage over the rest. In a further collaboration with the ICA, NEC's fingerprint identification technology has just been installed at Singapore's passport office for the production of the new Singapore biometric passport. Embedded in the biodata page is a small RFID chip containing the holder's biometric data. The passport and its chip comply with international standards facilitating the overseas travels of Singaporeans. The applicant's fingerprint is scanned into the computer. Then the passport photograph is scanned in too. At the moment, what's embedded in the smart chip is actually our facial image. And for Singapore's case, we have our fingerprint information in it. And in future, we might have our iris embedded in it as well. In due course, machinery to read the chips will be installed at all Singapore's ports of entry. Biometric passports are set to become a global standard. Thanks to its collaboration with NEC, Singapore is one of the first countries to issue them. Now that the immigration process takes less than 12 seconds per person, the ICA can feel confident it has the best possible system in place for homeland security. Empowered by innovation, NEC.